Hi guys, it's Kyle from Regrettable Props, and we're going to be making the Orakai Shin pieces from the game For Honor. Once again, templates are going to be in the description. We're going to be cutting this out on 5mm craft foam. I'm going to be providing the right side of the shin, so obviously you'll want to flip this for the left side. Afterwards, we're going to cut the pieces out, and you're going to have them be looking like such. And then we're going to cut out these sections here. I'm going to be doing them on 2mm craft foam. If you do not have 2mm craft foam available, all you could do is just trace those pieces onto your 5mm craft foam, cut out those pieces, and then put them back in, but have them sticking out of the foam approximately 2mm in thickness if you guys don't have 2mm thick foam uh, available to you. Here I am just tracing out the place landmarks of where I'm needing to glue, hot glue the 2mm craft foam, obviously to both sides of the shin. And then what we're going to be doing is scoring that section of 2mm craft foam or the areas that we have marked out the three pieces on each shin um, because based off the rim first image which I'll be providing currently right now in the video it's scored it's to look like wood and then what I'm going to do afterwards is heat seal the foam and then that way the pores are closed the seams open up we get the wood grain texture and then afterwards I am bending it to the shape of my shin that way it wraps around it. Afterwards, I coat the shins in a mixture of black acrylic paint mixed with Mod Podge to seal the foam. I do approximately two coats, two to three coats. I do the entire one side facing and then the edges. And then what we'll be doing now is giving the entire piece a base brown dry brushing of paint. Um, this helps um, for the rest of the process because each piece um, starts out brown and it works out to be a lighter tanny color uh, so we're starting with a dark base and then we're going to be working our way up in the lights um, once we've done the dry brushing of brown I'm going to be mixing brown and ivory slightly darker than what we want for the final piece excuse me on the sections of the entire foam after doing that we're going to be just dry brushing plain ivory not mixed with any paints on the edges to add some highlights um, and then after this you can add some shadows by mixing some darker browns and kind of like doing a wash but rubbing it around those raised pieces of foam um, I prefer dry brushing because it allows me to have the most amount of control in my opinion of the paint that way I don't put on too much and I can always build up the color that I'm trying to achieve uh, afterwards I mix black and brown to give a base coat to cover up that ivory because those pieces are supposed to be brown I do this on all those three pieces on both sides of the shin and once that's fully dried I mix brown and orange uh, just actually no just do a base coat of brown while it's still slightly uh, wet not fully dry uh, like I mentioned and then afterwards once it's still kind of wet I add a orange and a brown together to add some of the highlights and I'm just carefully dry brushing this to just hit like the top of the surface so that way it doesn't completely cover all the paint that we've been building up to add this wood texture um, but to just add the highlighting that way you can see the wood grain the black and the dark brown and the brown all these different variances in the wood to make it true to seem like it's actual wood once you have that finished this should be the product that you have um, we're not going to be attaching this yet to our shin because what's actually based off the in-game reference is that on the left leg the left shin it is held to the leg with uh, three straps of fabric of the same color matching the obviously the same color so we can match in a color that's holding the material on the right so there will be three pieces of fabric holding wrapped around the shin on the left shin and then on the right side there's gonna be two obviously one at the top one at the bottom and we're gonna be going over that later in the build but anyways this has been Cobb from Grotto Props hope you guys have been able to follow along and if you have any questions or comments or concerns post in the description or sorry not in the description in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can anyways this has been Kyle signing off bye